First time I was wounded was um, was also in the it was on the edge of the the Rungsat Special Zone uh, in an area called the uh, T10 or Duan 10 area, which was a uh, a very um, dangerous for us area of the Rungsat, and uh, it was to the north northeast part of the Rungsat, and uh, the, the the river and the the river there was uh, had many small tributaries and was pretty much impenetrable in in to the river patrol boats. They couldn't get uh, deep up into it because the the, uh, the channels were so narrow and the uh, the, the river was just uh, unpredictable. It was there's so many small branches. It was very easy to get lost and hard to turn around. Or it was a, it was a place made to ambush us. Uh, and for that reason, it was a very strongly held and defended enemy enemy area. Well, I decided we have we had to get up there and penetrate and, and get in there and, and stir things up a little bit. So, patrol leader was my assistant, uh, Lieutenant Junior Gray Bruton. Uh, but I went along, as we often did. We often went on each other's operations with the understanding that even though I was senior, he was in charge of the tactics of the operation. Well, we got up. We uh, managed to find our way up to a, a place that we wanted, an exact location where we wanted to be, uh, where we had heard of uh, a lot of enemy uh, activity in an area between a couple of different villages. So we worked our way through the waterways, climbed up through some nasty uh, mangrove swamp up onto high ground, where it was actually dry. I mean, we weren't you know, in mud or anything like that, and set up alongside a, a road. And uh, we saw... Um, we saw a, uh, an armed man come by, and we took him under fire and then shot him. And we just stayed there because we knew that this would attract, if there were any enemy in the area, they would come out to find out what was going on. And so we set up a claymore uh, and to get these guys as they came from the village, and we, just, we were waiting for them, for them to come. And sure enough, up they came, um, trolling in the dark uh, up the road, about uh, eight or ten of them, and uh, they got in our kill zone and... Uh, I told uh, Jerry, Jerry Todd, uh, Claymore. And he cranked off the Claymore and nothing happened. It just made a click and he did it again. It was a kind of a, a damp night and dewy. It wasn't raining, but there must have been some uh, moisture got into the, into the system. So at that point, I said, you know, shoot him. At this point, I was on my hands and knees uh, looking right at these people and everybody else was you know, pretty much crouched down in the brush. And I said, shoot them. And I, uh, so we took them under fire, uh, the enemy under fire. They, uh, they turned and one of the, one of their guys turned around and they, the ones who were knocked down by our initial burst took us under fire. And, uh, I got shot in the arm and, and the leg. I was, that was the end of the contact. We, we called it, we called in the, uh, sea wolves and, uh, uh, I wasn't able to walk. So we, uh, we went out by uh, helicopter.